in this chapter number three we will study about the power supply we can convert the ac supply to the dc now the perfect dc system provides a considerable small con like a stand that is voltage regardless of the value of the load now our goal in this chapter is to design a power supply that approaches the perfection that regardless of the load we get constant dc supply the electronic voltage regulators are found device have applications in the in the inverters in the computer systems and also in alternators in the automobile power stations now this is the circuit we're going to design we have the rvl load output of 1k and we have a full way rectifier in the beginning and we have c1 c2 for can for the removal of the noise and the zener diode d1 and 750 d5 for the voltage regulation now in order to test the circuit regulation our final design will generate a family of curve this curve will we have a nested sweep value of the load so the will sweep have from various value of uh, register that's a load register so this is going to be the v output at the various value of uh, rl the green green one is 200 ohms then we are incrementing of 200 half for every next graph this is the sweep setting we gonna do the parameter name will be the rvl this one and we will start from 200k and end at 1k and increment will be 0.2k in this uh, simulation we will start a new project chapter sure you are entering the right directory analog and mix a to d create a project select a directory make sure you're in right directory press ok now this will open a new schematic create a blank project here we will construct a power supply all circuits have the same procedure like selecting the libraries adding the component make placing the components and connecting the components so I'll make a skip a little bit we will add RLC and all the diodes in the circuit The R's select the C's Dude. in the Eva library. And four thousand two we need that to form a bridge circuit, so select like four or five. Now select the source VAC. This will work this supply. AC has an input. So output will get the DC because it's power supply. So there will be like AC supply variable. Make it amplitude of 420 and 60 hertz. And connect the circuit as shown. Select a special parameter param. place at the side and double click it and 
and add a row in it this is the particular parameter you wanna make it as a variable add a row add r val this will be the variable resistance so we have a resistance add a load so this will be like a variable load make the first value as a 1k make it as value as a r val variable this is the variable load and then the output for an ac supply of 420 60 kilohertz now make a general parametric sweep with a global parameter r val having increment of 0.2 k starting value 1k so it will increase at 1.2 k 0.4 select the variable now select the V out and then output V V output will be the Natalia so this is the output and variable voltage RVL